have yourself a nice visit, partner. Welcome to Megaton. Friendliest town around. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. Stay safe on the path you travel. Hey. Watch it, will you? around. How are you there? Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. What do you want to know? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off. Yet. I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, There'll be 100 caps in it for you. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Carry on. of the prophet of Adam. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow, for this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. 
It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. You're looking to trade, stranger? Let it serve Check out Crater as a Science reminder supply. of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division If you need to buy something, Moira up in Crater Side Supply can help you. Watch out, Give though. Give your She's bodies to Atom, different. my friend. Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow and be divine. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Uh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Hmm. Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. I'd ask there. <gasps> Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, 
Feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Sure thing. Good hunting! See ya! I urge you, my friend. Come, drink with me and pray. Glorious Atom, I give unto you these feeble bones. I present to your will this frail body. I beg of you to use me as your vessel, guide me to your brilliance, divide each particle, and give relief to this rotten flesh. Cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom, come, bestow your presence on your unworthy servant. We stay true until the day of division, until the dawn of your return to his humble world. Behold! He is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow, for this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past, and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Atom, my friend. Release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Atom's glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Each of us shall know peace, 
shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my friend, come, drink with me and pray. Glorious Atom, I give unto you these feeble bones. I present to your will this frail body. I beg of you to use me as your vessel, guide me to your brilliance, divide each particle, and give relief to this rotten flesh. Cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom, come, bestow your presence on your unworthy servant. We stay true until the day of division. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of atoms. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow, for this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friends. Release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering, for in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Take care. It's a big wasteland, but you know that better than me, right? Ah, 
Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Take care. What the hell do you want? Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. My God, it's you. A little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now, you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own Deputy Weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not, and yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, a hundred caps, and Daddy's location's yours. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps, and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's just business. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> I await our next meeting with bated breath.
Mr. Moriarty. Hello to you. You want something? Ah, uh, come on, you piece yeah, of you junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Stupid radio. Goddamn radio. I really hope you're not thinking of working into this. Come on, why? Evening. Son of a bitch. Just Lord. give it up, no. Gob. No. I'm not going to get Work. anything. Matter. Never seen a ghoul before. Hey, Smoothskin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. That's his way. Always putting caps before people's lives. I wish someone would stand up to him one day. Oh my, I shouldn't be saying all of this. I'm sorry, I, I really must get back to work. I can't get involved, I'm so sorry. See you soon. Something on your mind. Good to see you. Welcome to Moriarty's Saloon. Evening.
thirsty partner. Try Moriarty's coldest drinks in the capital wasteland. Welcome to Megaton. Please stand clear of the gate. Need some grub? Try the brass lantern. <laughs> 